What are you two up to? Ucho and I are swapping scar stories. Jonah tells me you have a few yourself. <laughs> no great tales with mine, just me being callous. I got this one here from my cousin, Eli. Your cousin gave you that? And are you still speaking? Uh, well, it wasn't my cousin exactly. It, uh, it was a worm that I... Perhaps I had to have been there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. So what about you? That one looks like it's got a good story to go with it. What happened? A very ancient recipe. <laughs> if my recipes did that, I think I'd rather starve. <laughs> it is not that kind of recipe. It's almost for a weapon. Ah, what sort of weapon? The White Breath. It is a poison found deep in the wilderness. Its effects would double our numbers without adding a single life. Just the thing the Rebellion needs to push back Amaru and his army. So what happened? I failed. You couldn't find it? No, my friend. I was not worthy. To master the recipe of the White Breath, you must traverse the path of fear. It is a treacherous place. Filled with terrible demons. You believe the White Breath could save rebel lives? Many. But that hope is lost now. I cannot go back. It is too dangerous. What if I went with you? We could get the recipe for the White Breath together. I appreciate your offer, Lara. But the path of fear must be taken alone. Then I'll go. I cannot ask you to do that. You didn't. I'm offering. No. Lara, maybe this isn't something you Uchu, should- Uchu, I can help. Please, let me. Take the passage through the water beneath this cave. It will lead you to the wilderness. From there, you're on your own. Full up. Can't carry any more.
This can't be the path of fear. I must have... Hello? Can you hear me? Why don't you be happy with what you have? Mom!
I've got you, Jonah. Please, please, hang on. Come on, don't be dead, please. Jonah, come on! Come on, Jonah! You know what to do. Go on. Do it! Whoa, what? Whoa, whoa, what? The pain. End it! I'm not in pain. Selfish brat! Their pain, not yours! Or the 
lives you've destroyed, and so many more to come. You destroy everyone you touch. Little cancer, little death. No, I, I, I wouldn't. They're, they're my friends. They're all... Dead or doomed. You know it. Feel it. You're a black thumb, Lara. Incapable of keeping life. First your mother, then your father, and now your friends. No! Hey, it's me, it's Jonah. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, thank God. She made it. She's okay. Well done, Lara. You've proven yourself worthy. Now you must enter the Valley of the Monkey Gods and retrieve the White Breath. The Monkey Gods? You, you mean the twins, Hoonahan and Hoonchevin? Yes. It is believed they authored the recipe for the White Breath as a means of revenge against the brothers who transformed them. Hunahan and Hunchevan must have traveled through here when they were banished from Paititi. No one's been through here in centuries. The Valley of the Monkey Gods. It's a massive fault line. It must have fractured centuries ago. A perfect place to hide if you wanted to disappear like the Monkey Twins did. This place is falling apart, being exposed on the cliff sides like this. I'm amazed any of it's still here.
Hun and Hun Chevin. Those statues are enormous. This has to be a gate to something. like a wooden turban. It seems to be jammed. What does this turban power, I wonder? no way forward. Hmm. That did it. The turban must be using the valley wind to power some sort of instrument. this place.
from the drum here.
see what we've got. The white breath. Welcome back. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. She found it. Here, the white breath. Strange. Well, such a small thing can hold such great power. I hope it gives the Rebellion the advantage it needs over Amaru and his cult. I think we both know that it will. Uchu, I still think you owe us a story, because I'm trying to put that scar and a recipe in the same equation. I don't really think there's anything to tell. Lara, it's good to see you again. You too, Uchu. How are the preparations going for Etsli's coronation? Not well, sadly. Shortly after you left Paititi, a group of hunters pulled Zan's body from the wilderness. Zan? Was he one of the men you sent out? To retrieve the champion's bow, yes. Lara, I hate to ask you, but... But would I go and get the champion's bow? It's a lot to ask. This is the most difficult of the items to retrieve. Zan was one of our best. May I ask what makes this bow so special? Queen Unaratu's ancestors carved it from the first Seba tree to grow in the wilderness outside the city. It has been handed down through generations. She bestowed it upon Sairi, Etsli's father, on their wedding day. It joins the two families together, but it was lost many years ago, taken by the Nahua. The Nahual? That's someone who has the power to transform into an animal, right? Yes. This one stalks the jungle outside the city. Envious, it tricks Sairi into giving it the bow. Edsley is the rightful heir of the champion's bow. Without it, he cannot be king. Okay. Point the way. Thank you. You will find the entrance directly across from here, up the shore of the river. Don't worry. I'll do my best to get the bow. Remember, the Nahual can take many shapes. Trust nothing you see in the wilderness. This must be the jungle entrance. Not very inviting, but I suspect that's the point. <laughs> Come to plunder, outsider. Great warriors have failed the challenges. The hidden places offer rich rewards, if you survive. What are you talking about? A rite of passage. A test to separate the corn from the stock. A trial that all cultist warriors must face. Nothing for the likes of you. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm capable of. Then find the path of battle. See if you and your arrogance can survive it. Have you met Pai Moishiki? The fool thinks the gods punished him. <laughs> Lazy bastard. I don't have enough space for that. You go 
first. First? I'm not... No. Did you see the guy they pulled out of there? What was left of him? Come on, just to the top of the path. If my father knew I was even this close to the wilderness, I wouldn't see him. This looks like a sacrificial altar. <clears throat> if it's anywhere. I'll bet the champion's bow is in there. Let's get this bow back to Uchu.
Bit of a grim welcome. I'll have to watch my step. Maya goddess Ishel, like moon goddesses in many other cultures, was also a mother deity associated with pregnancy and childbirth. The natural phenomena over which she presided included waterfalls, rainstorms, and rainbows. She was also the goddess of all crafts, such as watercolor painting and weaving, which she invented. But she wasn't exclusively nurturing. Her hair consisted of living serpents, she wore a skirt made of bones, and she had a legendary temper. Obsidian blades, never dull. The gate's open. Now I'll just have to get over there. Must be a way to get that gate open.
need to find a way to climb that, or lower it somehow. The arms need to be raised somehow. There must be a way to get that gate open. Something's blocking it. There must be a way to get that gate open. Can't go this way. Way to get that gate open. There must be a way to stop this machine. There must be a way to stop this machine. All full up, can't carry any more. Totem's arms have folded in. to get on that outer walkway. <laughs> Likely the same steps as the first section. Climb this. way down.
The Champion's Bow, the final piece to herald in the future of Pai TT. And what of the Nakwa? Did you face it? I did. It's dead. Tell me, what shape did it take? It was a jaguar. Ah, the most powerful of its forms. It must have seen you as a formidable foe. Uchu, how long has this Nawal been in the jungle? As children, there were always stories to keep us from straying beyond the bounds of Pai TT. But since Amaru took power, the Nakwa has been more active. You believe Amaru commands an owl? Yes, to keep his hands on our throats, but no longer. You have done a great thing for the future of Paititi, Lara. I would be honored if you would join us for the ceremony of kings. The honor would be mine. Here, I have something for you. This is from the armor Etzli's father, Sairi, wore. It is a symbol of your bravery. I would like you to have it. Thank you, Uchu. The sound of the king's horn has called you all to bear witness to a new beginning. Welcome to the ceremony of kings. Etzli, son of Unuratu, son of Sairi, step forth. Within the Savior's amulet is the wisdom of your ancestors. Listen to it so that you will enjoy an equity and mercy in all judgments. Within the champion's bow is the strength of your ancestors. Respect it so that you will enjoy responsibility and fairness in leadership. Finally, within you, young Etzli, is the future. Infuse your role as king with action. Create hope. 
Create love, not by passively waiting for grace to come down from up on high, but by doing what you can to make grace happen yourself. People of Paititi, it is with great pride that I introduce to you Etsli, son of Unuratu, son of Sairi, and your king! I told you that is not a toy. What is it? That's my new trophy. It was Amaru's most treasured possession. He wore it on a string around his neck, close to his heart. But you found a way to steal it. I had to. Do you know what it is? It's a cipher wheel, a coded message. Yes, and if Amaru goes to the trouble of putting a message in code, we have to know what that message is. Let me try. Maybe the code leads to the place of the flooded underworld. In the Mayan Cross, water comes from the south, and south is associated with the color yellow. Road, mountain, sky, east. That seems promising. Lining up the symbols has given me a possible location. Do these mean anything to you? Mountain Road, Sky Road, East Mountain? Yes. Amaru and his family lived near the base of the Eastern Mountain while he was growing up. So he would know the area very well, making it the perfect place for him to hide something important. I'll let you know what I find. I'm looking forward to it. With yellow in the south, the exposed symbols... Excuse me. Yes? I was wondering, have you lived around here for long? All my life, which makes for a very, very long time. <laughs> then you must have known Amaru when he was younger. Did I know Amaru? <laughs> yes, I certainly did. And that brother of his, too. Amaru was the older one, the quieter, more studious. Both boys had a passion for the unknown, 
for discovering the world around them. But where Sairi was the explorer, the adventurer, Amaru was the scholar. Together, they were a magnificent team, each one pushing the other to great heights. So they were close. <laughs> Inseparable. All brothers fight from time to time. But these two, they'd settle their disagreements in a matter of minutes, and their bond would be even stronger for it. And as for anyone else? <laughs> Nobody was allowed to get close. It was a game to them, keeping secrets only they knew. They had a secret hideaway, a private code, everything. A hideaway? Yes. They got there by climbing. Sorry, it's been ages. Um, what did they call it? The Sky Road? That's it. That's it. The road to the sky. <laughs> I'd like to follow that road. Do you have any guesses as to where it might be? Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but you're at the base of a mountain. Better start climbing. <laughs> Pull up. Can't carry any more.
Tatimbu Yak Yalele Kuchil Tsone Mashanu Kabetalti Le Piskinop Kutalobo. Sunak Lechomakobo. Mishbikin Hachku Satalop Tulakali. Matu Yabil Kinsili. Hachak Uts Tutanop Puchipajal Yetel Pujasi Kuyol Le Satal Olobo. Shanta la tupultikesh, el patalón canal y el huelle. Hable que no quede Samaru Tsoku Pistale. Kachak Bastin Guya, Yola Lamaru. Awokel Yola Le Wal Wal Suk Umansike. Yanmash o Holtek. Le Katu Yilaje, Job, Tu, Mishtupaja de Wal. Kuntulkimen, Kuntulin Lakon, Shimbaltesh Le Kuchila. Tim <tose> Kunshanta la tupultikesh, sin patanol kanan il huye. Takle kenu het samaru tsoku pistale. Hachaj bastin huye, yola la maru. Mawokel yola le wal wal suk umansike. Yanmash o holtek. Le katu yilaje, hop, u, mishtupachta lingualik. Le ola el tustabon huye, bastin hach kanan le wal walo. Main Wajeli, Tzole Yesh Pujanila, Nishmak Kun Katikti.
No wonder Amaru had it so well guarded. This is Sairi's tomb. There's an inscription in Latin. I will never hesitate again. I wonder what that means. <sighs> There's also a key. All right, let's try red in the north. Dancing tree, water, nine. It also means many. Hmm, dancing water near many trees. I think I know what fits that description. Red in the north. The exposed symbols are dancing tree. I'm Jackson Wall. Beware. We've uncovered a wolf den in the area. But then again, maybe that is why you're here. What do you mean? The gods have sent one outsider to hunt another. Very appropriate. Best of luck on your hunt. enough space for that. All full up. Can't carry any more. This will lead.
need to reach the other side somehow. Let's see if I can reach the top now. There's nothing here I can use. There's nothing here I can use. Progress. Those beams are in the wrong position. Those beams are in the wrong position. Time to connect everything.
food from Trinity. How did they find this cave? The key fits this chest. Maybe the answers are inside. Sairi, here is some food to begin distributing to our people. I wish I'd managed to obtain it sooner, before you went hunting, especially since, as your older brother, the responsibility was mine, not yours. But you have always been as stubborn as the rest of our family. It comes from Trinity, that secret group of outsiders I was telling you about. They have promised me more, but first there is something I have to do for them. You can find me at the old village beyond the gate that was put up to protect people from the Red Fungus. Amaru. Whatever the secret of this cipher wheel is, I don't think it has to do with the current conflict. I think it's older and much more personal. With luck, I'll find the explanation in the old village. I don't have enough space for that. This must be the red fungus Amaru mentioned in his letter. 
It's obviously deadly. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. My dearest Sairi, I'm leaving this for you here at the gateway to my greatest fear. I need to get the cannon into the right position. I need to get the cannon into the right position. I need to get the cannon into the right... Trinity must have put these here. They should still be functioning. gate wasn't just for protection. It was to hide this tomb, and Amaru knew it was here. All full up. Can't carry any more. The spores are too deadly to cross, but I can't pry my way through that barrier. <laughs> this is here for a reason. It must be useful somehow. This is here for a reason. It must be useful somehow. This is here for a reason. It must be useful somehow. <laughs> Sledge is removing something. I don't think I'm finished with the sledge quite yet. Sledge is removing something. The sledge is removing something. <clears throat> the 
sledge is removing something. The sledge is removing something. The sledge is removing something. the cart under the cannon. I'm gonna have to be quick. Mm-hmm. 
So many bodies. I have to avoid those spores. As anticipated, Amaru has completed the sixth sequence. Entire construction is a test for the leadership of Trinity. If Amaru had fully committed to Trinity sooner, they would have given him the food then, before Sairi went hunting and got killed. I will never hesitate again. Amaru was making a promise to his dead brother in a language no other Pytetian could read. There is one person who can confirm all of this for me. We found their hidden city. Hakan, how dare you ask Aron to do such a thing? What would you have me do? Go myself? How long would it be before my head is rolling on the steps from the upper city? Father, <laughs> father. You have only yourself to blame. Soon we will be reunited. Right. <laughs> 
Es Agil Paititi. Ah, it's you again. Did you find what you're looking for? I think so. More than I was expecting. You look troubled. What's on your mind? Did you ever see Amaru back here after... after the famine? You mean after his brother died? I told you they were inseparable. When Sairi died, a part of Amaru died along with him. Not long after it happened, he came back here once, and then never again. He devoted himself entirely to the cult of Kukul Khan. I guess his brother's death changed his priorities forever. Thank you. Even more helpful than I can say. Koryanka was right. This wheel is important to Amaru. It might be the most precious thing he owns. We have no reason and no right to keep it from him. The legend is that the Ring of Seven stand guard over riches, but I've looked all over the place and I still haven't been able to find them. It doesn't make any sense. Why go to the trouble of making up a riddle and then not having it pay off? Give this to him. Amaru! What did that insolent priest want? What? How? Give me that!
30th of November, 6th. You're back. What have you learned? Too much, I think. What happened? I returned the cipher wheel to Amaru. Its messages have no value to the rebellion. The wheel is personal. A keepsake that represents Amaru's love for his brother Sairi. The codes point to various dead drops the brothers had, hidden throughout the city. One of them contained food which he had gotten from Trinity to help during the famine. But Sairi never received the message, because by then he'd already died. Amaru wasn't always the man he is now. Whatever his faults, he still believes in doing what's best for Paititi. I know. He's always held the city and the people in it close to his heart. Along with his regrets. Thank you again for all you have done. Perhaps we'll share in the next adventure. <laughs> ah, the warrior returns. Thank you again for your help. Have more rebels been captured? Ishiki, maybe you can help. I sent five men to steal the cult of Kukul Khan's weapons for the rebellion, but the mission failed. In former times, I would have led them myself, but now I can't fight. I can't even run, or else I start to cough up blood. But I'm still a good planner, or I was until today. My comrades were caught and strung on posts throughout the lower village as a warning. They're going to hang there until they die. You said I might be able to help. Yes. With your Serpent Guard attire, you can untie all four of them and no one will suspect you. Four? You said there were five men on the mission. There were. Kolki was leading them, but he wasn't captured along with the others. Nobody's seen him. He's probably been killed. I'll see what I can do. Mm, 
impossible. I can't carry any more. May they all be cursed. <laughs> Have you come to finally kill me? I'm not with the cult. I'm a friend here to free you. That's an effective disguise. Can you use it to free the others and find Kolkui? I hope so, but I don't know what happened to him. He's alive. Kolkui's alive. In the confusion, I heard him shout, ordering a retreat. I'm sure he's alive. Pillowit! They'll not see me beg. You're wasting your time. I'll never tell you anything. I'm not here to interrogate you. I'm here to free you. Bribery? Life as a traitor would be worse than death. I'm sure it would, but I'm a friend. Thank you, friend. You're welcome. You and your friends are safe. No. The cult was expecting us. A spy has infiltrated the rebellion. Mother, father, soon we will be reunited. Am I in the afterlife? Are you a spirit? No, I am very much alive, as are you. <laughs> a mortal and an immortal. There, you're free to go. Yes, I have been liberated. Have you come here to escape the bustle of the city? I swear, it gets louder and more crowded every day. The people are changing as well. They desire more and more, be it food or clothing or jewelry. Their eyes dart inside the homes of their neighbors, longing for the items they see. No one seems to be able to find contentment with what they have. It's too much. Sometimes I dream of sneaking away. Just getting into one of these boats and paddling up the river. I would do that, but this place is all I've ever known. It would be a huge decision. I think I'll need to keep thinking about it. Thank you for listening. I feel as though a cloud has parted. The rebels like to make sure everyone knows just how bad Amaru is. But what they don't tell you is that if it wasn't for Amaru and his dealings with the outsiders, Baititi would have faded into memory decades ago. Do they think there's corn in the fields or fish in the river because of something they did? <laughs> Amaru accepted the help of the outsiders during the famine. All the rebels did was complain about how their bellies ached. Amaru unified Paititi, saved us all from starvation and rot. You ask me, I think we owe him whatever he asks of us. It's an insult, a dishonor to Kukulkan. What's happened? The priests have forgotten their duties. They did not signal Kukulkan's arrival. People seem to be well aware of his passage through the streets. That is not enough. The great beam of light did not shine down on the city as it should. Who knows what is going on in the Temple of the Sun? Ishiki, would you like to hear a story? One that my mother used to tell. I would love to. You've noticed the pools throughout the city, haven't you? Do you know why they exist? No, why? We once had a queen, a very vain woman. She ordered these wells dug so that as she walked through the city, she could always see her reflection. What?
cowards. All of us. This is what we deserve for failing so miserably. Don't be so rough on yourself. You'll live to fight another day. We didn't fight. We gave up when we were surrounded. Marched off to die without a single drop of blood on the ground. All full up. Can't carry any more. Someone's taken this old walkie-talkie apart. Were they made? So many of our warriors have been captured. If they are not freed, they could be sacrificed, assassinated. I freed your friends, and there's more good news. Kolkwi is alive. He was in the lead when the others were surrounded. He shouted a warning and ran away. That's excellent. There is one concern. You may have a traitor in the rebellion. I know we do. I learned who he was while you were gone, and I'm going to personally see he gets what he deserves. All right. Here, take this as a thank you. I appreciate all your help. If you're right about Kolkwi, he would have gone to the mountain safe house. Can you go find him, please? Let him know we have retreated to Skull Cave. I'll find him. If the traitor knows about the cave, Kolkwi's in danger. <clears throat>
Hakan, how dare you ask Aron to do such a thing? What would you have me do? Go myself? How long would it be before my head is rolling down the steps of the city? Nah, you have only yourself to blame. Don't you know <laughs> Kalki! Kalki! Kalki came while you were freeing the others. We didn't know he was a Jaguar warrior. He offered me payment. How could I refuse? You should have, Boma. Kukul Khan hates outsiders and traitors. Death to the one who defies Kukul Khan! There! The outsider Kukul Khan sent us for! Kill her! Kill her! Ketsamukesh! Winkilal! Jetel Winkulal! Ma'alob! Nana Woke Sikaba! Inwilinkar Wakumeya! He can kill! Levantel Mako Wayane! Kulbatel Kesh! Satantesh Apilik Awichesh. In much more, Oye. In willing car to Akumeya. Get some bouquet. In Wokel. Umok Kav Jetel Shotobo. Babak Beyo. Helul Chaite Chot Silil Kuka. Akwatele. Amdeneshi.
Paco Mellar. Hakan, how dare you ask Aron to do such a thing? What would you have me do? Go myself? How long would it be before my head is rolling down the steps from the upper city? Ma, you have only yourself to blame for that. Don't you lecture me on... <sighs> Look, Aron has the run of the place. He's perfectly safe as long as he doesn't draw attention to himself. If anything happens to him, you're out. Chaska won't protect you here any longer. Hakan? Who are you? I'm a wolf in sheep's clothing, remember? Priest! <laughs> I didn't recognize you out of costume. Ah, it's good to see you again, my friend. You too. How's Kiara? She still has a father, thanks to you. If I remember correctly, it took both of us to get out of that cell. So how have you been? I'm trying my best not to squander the second chance I was given, but... I may not have a choice. What's the trouble? Aron, one of the men who lives here, happens to work at the guard barracks in the upper city. I asked him to do some snooping around for me, but he hasn't returned. You're afraid something's happened to him? His sister is. She always worries for him, but she has a point. If I've put Aron in danger, and the woman who runs this little halfway house in the garbage finds out, Kayara and I will be out on our ear. I could check on Aron for you. If he's in some sort of trouble, maybe I can pull him out. <laughs> you do have a knack for it, I'll give you that. Do you still have that priest outfit of yours? As it happens, I do. <laughs> Good. Aron is a custodian at the guard barracks in the upper city. That outfit is going to get you through the door. I urge you to be wary, Ahau. We've broken the uprising, but they are still around. Alone, you are a target. The collection of reeds bundled together with rope and stone is used as a calendar. Usually
Hatte nie die Messach. Ah, Priest. Some of our brave warriors have just won the day in the name of Kukul Khan. I think they deserve a blessing, don't you? Uh, of course, yes. Wonderful. They will be honored. Through here. Be alarmed, I'm... Is this what you're looking for? These symbols don't make any sense. It's almost like code or...
Come to Lara. What do you mean you left it? 
I was nearly spotted. What choice did I have? You're sure it's still there? What if his body is discovered? Uh, he was off his shift. He won't be missed for hours. Okay. So you can go back and get it. I'm not going back up there. Well, I can't go. I have a price on my head. I am sorry, Hakan. I tried. I almost had the message. <sighs> I know, brother. I know. You made it out okay. Excellent. Aron, this is the lady who broke me out of jail. Uh, it's a pleasure. Ah, which reminds me, I'm embarrassed to say, I've never asked your name. It's Lara. Well, Lara, as you can see, Aron is back safe and sound. It seems I sent you on an errand for nothing. I'm sorry. Maybe not for nothing. Does this message mean anything to you? How did but you... When I went to check on Aaron, I saw him take out the guard. The priest? That was you? Yes. It was smart of you to run, Aaron. If those guards captured you, this message would have been lost for sure. I don't recognize the symbols they've used. It's a secret form of language Amaru uses to communicate with his people. Supposedly, it reveals the look. We believe it reveals the location of the High Council's nest. Only the members of his cult know how to read it. You can decipher it. My sister Atsi, she... May I answer? Atsi was my wife. She was also once a follower of Amaru. She taught me to read their hidden language. You changed her mind about the cult? No one could change Atsi's mind about anything except Atsi. <sighs> she sounds like a very strong woman. I loved her very much. So, does the message tell us where we're going? We? <laughs> All right then. Do you know the abandoned village on the edge of the city? I can find it. Good. I'll meet you there. Aron, if we're not... Hakan tells me it's a secret back within the hour. Bring whoever you can. Can you manage that? Yes. All full up. Can't carry any more. Are you... Through here, quickly. Lara, run! Ah, just in time to watch your friend die. Wait.
Perhaps there is another way. Laura, is it? Go on. A deal. You do something for us, and your friend lives. That easy. Why? Because you impress me. You've proven to be quite resourceful since you've arrived in Paititi. Lara, don't do it. Don't give it to him. What is it you want? The God Slayer, of course. Isn't that why you're here? Don't listen to him. Amaru issued a challenge himself. Whoever can possess the God Slayer may challenge him to the throne. Didn't your friend tell you what he's after? <laughs> Interesting. But not my problem. Through there lies your challenge. Retrieve the God Slayer and return it to me, and your friend will live. Yes or no? Lara? If he has so much as a scratch on him when I get back, you all die. <laughs> Save your bravado for what lies ahead. Any squad venturing outside Khan. All full up. Can't carry any more.
keep the waters teeming with piranha. Easy enough, avoid getting in the... It shows many warriors braving a trial water. Need to find a way to open the gate. Shit, the ground is sinking. I have to reach that raft. That gate is blocking the raft. There has to be a way to open it. There should be a way to open the gate somewhere. Blades. Why would it be as easy as just opening a gate? Ugh, can't stay on the raft. I'll never fit through there. Another tight spot. Incredible. This gate is massive. There must be a way to open it. There must be a way to open the door. a way to open the door. be a way to open the door. <laughs> there must be a way to open the door. Hmph! <laughs> 
Be a way to open the door. <sighs> there must be a way to open the door. be a way to open the door. <laughs> there must be a way to open the door. structure. Shit, the raft is stuck again. Focus, Lara, and a solution will present itself. <clears throat> the raft is stuck. There must be a way to open this gate. Go. Perfect. Now I can get that raft going again. Blades. Why does it always have to be blades? Stay here, these platforms are sinking. shows a mortal man killing a god with a bow. He's taking his crown and the throne. It's the god slayer. I must be close. At last, the god slayer must be in there.
Need to find a way to open the gate. must have activated a security measure. More hazards. Have to stay on my toes. emptying. I must have activated a security measure. More hazards. Have to stay on my toes. emptying. I must have activated a security measure. More hazards. Have to stay on my toes. I must have activated a security measure. More hazards. Have to stay on my toes.
something blocking the tower mechanism. I've got to find out what it is. Got it. Now, to climb to the top. See what everybody's fighting over. Made it. And you must be the God Slayer.
Calgelo, Sachben, Ziltale. Coming.
Why did you lie to me? Because I'm ashamed of the truth. What truth? That there never was any hidden cult nest? That you only wanted the God Slayer so you could kill Amaru? Yes. For what he made me do. It was I who killed my wife. <laughs> but he forced my hand. She was going to expose us, risk our daughter's future. I love Datsy, but the cult was rooted deep in her. So you murdered her? I set her free, and now we'll be together again, far from his influence. And Kiara? What of your daughter, Hakan? It's been arranged. She'll be safe with Jaska. She'll raise her to be strong and kind and, and not like me. You heard. I knew. For a long time, I hated him for it. But my sister was sick. She knew she was poisoned by the cult, but she was helpless to escape them. I... <coughs> I am sorry, Aaron. Rest now, brother. Go and be with her. Thank you, Lara, for everything you've done for my family. <laughs> Take it, for if you ever get the chance. <clears throat> Full up. Can't carry any more. Pull up. I can't carry any more. Okay, water looks deep enough. Full up. Can't carry any more.
someone else has been here recently. All full up. Can't carry any more. Here's what I've been looking for. 